I'm Crystal with AMA Happy Campers, and today I'm joined with Steve Hawkridge, and we're gonna walk you through a trailer hookup. So if you're a novice RVer, or even if you've RVed before, but you've never done the trailer hookup yourself, you're in the right place. Steve is a red and blue seal RV tech. He's also an RVDA Canada recognized RV tech, and he is an instructor with SAIT. Hi, Hi Crystal. Steve. <laughs> Make sure you stick around for the full video because Steve will be answering some really frequent questions that he gets from customers when hooking up um, their RV trailer. And then we'll also tell you where you can get some more resources for all your RV needs. So what are you going to start with today, Steve? Uh, this will be a general overview uh, of a step-by-step -step hookup. This could be good for beginner campers or those with experience. Our first step is going to be measuring the coupler of the trailer height and the height of the truck ball. So after we've measured up the height of the coupler, what we wanna do is we measure up the ball of the truck height and we make sure that it's one to two inches taller than the coupler. Okay. And now at this point, we wanna make sure that we get our hand signals correct and uh, communication with our truck driver, or our tow truck driver. So we know how to properly guide them when they're hooking up and we are all on the same page. So we make sure the window's down so they can hear us and we always stand in a place where they can see us. So do you need to have another person for this step? Could you do it on your own? You can do it on your own. You just have to take a little bit more time to do it and be safe. Um, it's always easier with two people, but yeah, it's something you can do on your own. For the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be backing the truck up underneath the ball and setting the trailer down on the ball. Now with the uh, truck underneath the trailer, we're gonna have our driver still stepping on the brake and we're gonna drop the uh, trailer onto the ball. Our next step, what we're gonna do is lock the trailer onto the ball. Once it's locked on, we're gonna slightly lift up on the truck and the trailer with the jack to take the weight off the equalizer hitch. We don't wanna to go too high so we don't stall out the uh, motor. For safety, what we'll have the driver do is we'll put on the e-brake and the vehicle in park so it doesn't roll. For our next step, now that we have the weight off of the trailer and the truck, we're gonna slide in our equalizer bars and we're going to tension them up. So what we do for one side, we wanna make sure that we do on the other side. So we make sure we have the same amount of links hanging on one side to the next. Okay, so you mentioned equalizer bars. Uh, is that the same thing as a sway bar or a stabilizer bar? So our equalizer bars are also known as stabilizer bars. The sway bar is something diff different, which is actually off to the side of the hitch and bolted to the A-frame. The equalizer bars uh, keep the trailer and the truck level. The sway bar keeps the trailer from waving side to side. So would you say that you needed an equalizer bar or could you drive without one? Equalizer bars should be on every hookup. A sway bar you can do without. Okay, thank you. For our next step, we're gonna add the chains to the tow vehicle. These are safety chains. And what we wanna do is we take the chain that's on your side and we're gonna hook it up to the truck on my side. If the trains are too long and dragging on the ground, what you can do to shorten them up is to twist the chains just to get them a little shorter in length. We just hook them up. And by hooking them up from the left side to the right side of the truck and vice versa, we're creating a cross or a cradle. So if everything should happen to fail, uh, the cradle will catch the trailer's front end. So our next step here, we're going to just raise the foot of the jack so it's out of the way for travel. And we're going to hook up our emergency breakaway wire. Now, a lot of campers, what they do is they end up hooking onto the chain. That is illegal. We wanna make sure that the emergency breakaway uh, cable is hooked up to the truck separate from everything else. So we just use a clevis. 
So I notice you have a block under the jack. Is that necessary? It is a good idea because it distributes the weight of the hitch and we're not sinking into the ground. If the block is longer than wide, we want to have it going from front to back in length. So if the trailer rocks, it's not being knocked off of the block. We also want to make sure we don't have several blocks that make it too high so when it rocks, it won't fall off the block as well too. Now we're going to hook up the seven-way electrical for our lights and our brakes. Our truck driver will turn on the left, the right at signal and the brake as well too. And we'll stand at the back of the trailer while they're doing that uh, to make sure all those functions are working. So for our hookup, our different components are our seven-way wire, our emergency disconnect, and our cradle that we made with the chains. That was really helpful, Steve. Are there any do's and don'ts that you can share with our happy campers that'll keep them safe and worry-free? You bet. What we want to do when we hook up, if we're on a hill, we want to block the tires. We never want to pinch our seven-way cord between the coupler and the ball. We always want to have visual and audio communication with our driver. And we also make, want to make sure that we don't back the truck up into the coupler of the trailer. Thank you. So before we go, one last question. Is there anything you can share with us about buying, choosing a hitch? You bet. There's different weight classes of hitches. So we want to make sure that we're buying the appropriate hitch for the trailer and the truck. Thanks so much for that tutorial, Steve. We hope that this tutorial helped you learn how to hook up your trailer. But if you're looking for some more hands-on instruction, AMA has a four-hour RV smart course that you can sign up for. And we'll have some links in the description where you can find that. Don't forget to join our AMA Happy Campers Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos.